happy to be joined by New York Daily News baseball columnist, the one and only John Harper. And you know, John, as much as I enjoy talking to you, I do wish that it was under better circumstances. Because, Harper, you got to give us your state of the... If there is a, a bright light, a silver lining, it's the starting pitching has been really good. Matt's, it was, a good, it was good again. So that gives them some hope. But at the same time, you gotta, you got to do more than pitch, as we know. Now, as you saw, the first run of the game came on a steal of home. And here's our Steve Gales with Steven Matz after the game. On his pitching and forgets about what's going on around. The running game's been a problem for him. This has really cost him. Okay, and the Cubs' second run, of course, was also not a uh, shining moment for the Mets defense. Here's Jay Bruce on what happened on that play. I want to know your thoughts, you know, on Mickey Calloway. We heard the sound at the top of the show. He talked about the pressure of playing in New York during his post-game press conference. Not going anywhere, so he's in New York. He's stuck here. He's going to have to deal with what it's like playing here. What did you think with him saying Yeah, that? I don't like that. Uh, Maybe the pressure is a lot for him? Uh, I don't, I don't it's, you know, I think it's more about him being a first-time manager and adjusting to some of the in-game decisions that he's had to make. I think more... Everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Taylor Rooks. Plenty to get to with Mike Trout and the Angels invading the stadium. Luis Severino on the mound for the Yankees, but it was a 21-year-old in pinstripes who stole the spotlight yet again. But let's send it right over to Eamon McNanny in Studio 41, who has more on the Mets' painful loss in Milwaukee. Over to you, Eamon. All right, Taylor. And that is a wonderful way to kick off Memorial Day weekend, but now what's not so wonderful. The Giants have fired three ranking members of their equipment staff who were involved in the Eli Manning memorabilia scandal. The lawsuit, of course, continued on for more than four years. Welcome to Geico Sports Night. I'm Eamon McEnany alongside Justine Ward. Ahead on the show, much more on another rough outing for Jason Vargas and the Amazons. That's right, Eamon, but let's head to the Bronx. Welcome back. We're going to talk Yankees again. It's been a rocky road for Jacoby Ellsbury this season, who since spring training has dealt with an oblique issue, hip issue, plantar fasciitis, and now the latest, a minor back injury. He's still shut down, and Brian Cashman could not offer a timetable for his return Saturday. And prior to Saturday's game, Mickey Calloway told reporters A.J. Ramos's issues as of late had to do with his mindset. Things didn't improve Saturday for him as the reliever gave up three runs on three hits in less than an inning of work. After the loss, Ramos was very open with reporters on continuing to work through his struggle. Welcome back in our MLB insider Andy Martino to talk about the Mets a little more. And Andy, you just heard from Wheeler there. Mm -hmm. With the, all the injuries going on in the Mets starting rotation, do you think they can now rely on Wheeler to be consistent. Well, just encouraging the pitch count is encouraging, and he could have gone longer. There's, it's fair to question whether Mickey Calloway should have let him fight deeper, a little bit deeper into that game, which shows that that, that debate itself shows you that Zach still had something that he may not have had several starts ago. All right, something to watch. And the Mets made some roster moves. Kevin Pawecki is set to start mm -hmm. at first base to last season, too, for a hot minute. He's pitched as many times <laughs> as he's played first base. I didn't hear anything from you on Hanley Ramirez, I know, and I was which supposed makes to bring me him up. think that it's not going to go <laughs> that way no it's not good job keeping me honest on they've hit their limit yeah well speaking of veterans Jose Reyes getting a lot of heat lately he right. had a late game error in this game could you see him being released anytime soon yeah I think that the hour is getting late baseball night in New York crew Sal Licata and Anthony McCarron here with me same old story for the Mets especially as you look at the bullpen how do they fix this issue with their relievers? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, if, if I had the answer to that, Justine, I think I'd be the out. They don't have that. It's making $7 million. Yeah, I know, so but you know what? Moving on is going to hurt. He's not, it doesn't matter. It's hurting watching him. So they got to get somebody out there better. Than, it, look, if you want to win, if you don't want to forming guys that are there, whether it's the health, the guys who were injured, you need them to be back, familiar right. guys like that. So the, the Mets are in shambles in the bullpen. Well, Vargas didn't do the Mets bullpen any favors, didn't make it to the sixth again. Yeah. Where do the Mets go from here? Where do they go with Jason Vargas? Well, that's another thing. Because the games with their best pitchers on the mound, like Jacob deGrom, losing a game where Vargas goes out there, not that big of a deal. But since they're not winning those games, Vargas five innings, fifth starter. If everything else on your team is going well, it's not. So him, five innings, three runs, getting into that bullpen even earlier, that's how they lose. It's as simple as that. Not really a lot you can say that's positive right now. No, there's not. No, we didn't even get to the offense. Just yeah. I mean, we did not. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, the